Hi everybody, Dana Sparks, broker of Maximum One Greater Atlanta Realtors. And today's contract tip has to do with using or being an administrative assistant uh, for your real estate business. So if you are a real estate agent, um, you know there is a lot of paperwork involved in this business. And many agents will use a real estate administrative assistant, either someone uh, that they hire or there are all kinds of virtual assistants out there. Uh, there are businesses of real estate virtual assistants um, and there are some agents that supplement their income by being a virtual or not a virtual assistant, but an assistant, an administrative assistant to other agents. So just wanted to talk a little bit about the license laws surrounding what paperwork needs to be signed uh, for you as a real estate agent, whether you are using the services of a license uh, of an assistant or if you are offering your services as an assistant. So um, first thing is there are definitely, well, let me even back up. If you are using, if you are a real estate license, licensee, um, and obviously your license is held with a qualifying broker and you are going to use an administrative assistant. First thing is there needs to be a signed contract between you and that administrative assistant outlining the uh, duties that they are to perform and so forth and so on. And your qualifying broker must be a party to that contract. And what I mean by that is their signature must also be on that contract. It is a three-party contract where it, the, the services are contracted between you as the agent and the assistant, but your broker must consent with their signature on that contract to use an assistant. Secondly, there, ir, there are a myriad of differences in the tasks that an assistant can perform if that assistant is licensed or if that assistant is not licensed. So, um, and then thirdly, if your assistant or if you are being an assistant is licensed, does hold a real estate license, and the broker that holds the real estate license of the assistant is a different broker than the broker who holds the license of the agent, there must be mutual consent by both qualifying brokers for that um, licensee to perform administrative assistant duties for an agent with another firm. <sighs> so uh, if you guys are using an admin assistant, again, even a virtual assistant, there's lots of companies out there, you need to have your paperwork intact. So let me briefly go over uh, what some of these forms are uh, to, and what the license laws are to bring it to your attention. Um, so first of all, per license law, per GREC rule 520-1-0761C, it states that an individual actively licensed with one firm may work as support personnel for a different firm or for a licensee or licensees of a different firm as long as there is written consent of the broker of each firm. Um, an individual whose license is on inactive status may also work as support personnel for, for, for a firm or an affiliated licensee, and they are still considered a licensed assistant. So that is GREC Rule 520-1-0761C. GREC Rule 520-1-0761D, and these are all under the management responsibilities. It states that any real estate broker, uh, any real estate brokerage firm that allows an affiliated licensee to use an assistant in carrying out the activities must, one, enter into a written agreement with the affiliated licensee authorizing the use of that support personnel, and that written agreement must delineate the duties that the support personnel may perform and approve of any compensation arrangement that the firm permits the affiliated licensees to have with the support personnel. Number two, uh, enter into a written agreement with the support personnel assisti assisting the affiliated licensee 
specifying any duties that the support personnel must undertake on behalf of the affiliated licensee. And number three, assure that the affiliated licensee and the support personnel have entered into that written agreement specifying the duties of the support personnel may undertake on behalf of the affiliated licensee and in the manner in which the support personnel shall uh, be compensated. And then under uh, the Georgia Code Unfair Trade Practices, OCGA 43-40-25B7, it states that it is an unfair trade practice if you are a licensed agent uh, to represent or attempt to represent a real estate broker other than the one holding your license without the express knowledge and consent of the broker holding that license. So that's why that uh, mutual written permission is required. And then one more uh, thing to let you know about. In Greck Rule 520-1-0076E is where it delineates uh, what an unlicensed assistant may or may not do. And um, so some of these duties uh, for, an un for an unlicensed assistant that they can perform, they can answer the phone and forward calls, they can enter listings into an MLS service, uh, put documents together for closing, uh, perform physical maintenance on a property, arrange dates and times of inspection, so forth and so on. But more importantly, by Grec Rule 520-1-0076F uh, discusses the tasks that an unlicensed support personnel or assistant cannot perform. Your unlicensed assistant may not make cold calls, may not prospect for you, um, may not host open houses, uh, may not perform, uh, uh, may, may not prepare promotional materials or advertisements without your review. That should be anybody. Um, they cannot answer questions on title financing or closings other than the time and the place. They cannot answer questions about a, a specific listing except for information on the price and amenities as authorized in writing by the licensee. Uh, can't negotiate anything. So please, if you are using an unlicensed assistant, make sure you check out what they may and may not do. For any of you guys that need some guidance on an actual assistant contract to use, uh, GAR has a form that you can either use or you can look at. It is the GAR form C-007, and it is called Agreement for Licensee Use of a Real Estate Assistant. And that would be true if you, the assistant you are using is licensed or unlicensed, and you'll see all kinds of information in there. And at the end of that form, it does have a place for the assistant to sign, the licensee to sign, and the broker to sign. And then for the licensed assistant who is working, whose license is held by one broker, but they're being an assistant for an agent with another broker, uh, again, the license law is that both brokers must consent. So at maximum one, we have a form that we have prepared called broker permission to be a licensed assistant for another firm. And that is simply a form that uh, we have developed that indicates the both brokerages names, both firm names, both correct firm numbers. Um, and it is consent uh, uh, for a licensed agent whose who's license is held by one broker to work as support personnel for a licensee of another brokerage. And there is a place for both brokers to sign um, giving their consent uh, as well as some hold, harm, hold harmless language in there. So if you are a maximum one agent, that form is available to you in the reference section of Paperless Pipeline or please feel free to contact myself or one of your compliance brokers. Um, nevertheless, the point is a uh, couple things. Just to reiterate, I guess I've, I've said everything. If you are using an admin assistant, there are different things they can do. Well, number one, you must have a contract and your broker must sign off on that contract because your admin assistant is still in essence representing the broker because as we've said, 
You're an affiliated licensee with whom? The broker. All contracts are written in the name of whom? The broker. So anybody that is working on any of these files must have broker consent to work on these contracts. So number one, you must have a contract with your assistant and the broker must sign off on that contract. Number two, there are different tasks that an unlicensed assistant is allowed to do versus a licensed assistant. And number three, if you are using a licensed assistant, if you are using someone to assist you and they do have a real estate license held by a different brokerage, both brokers must give their written consent for this to take place. So hope this contract tip helped you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Dana Sparks, broker of Maximum One Greater Atlanta Realtors, satisfying your needs with service, innovation, and education.